Hey, David Breslow back here with you in today's mental golf training video tip. I want to talk to you about the special challenge of par threes. Now, a lot of golfers will talk to me about the extra tension and pressure that they feel on a par three. Think about it, it's an exciting shot, isn't it? There you are, the pin is right in front of you. It might be 170 yards away, 140 yards away, 210, 220, and a longer par three. Whatever it is though, everything is right there in front of you. And the pressure starts to build for a lot of golfers because there it is, one swing, one shot, you're up at the tee, and the green is facing you. So what do we do? Here are some things I suggest. Obviously a par three is a, an interesting hole for on most golf courses. Sometimes you have water in front of it, sometimes you have bunkers in front of it, sometimes you'll have water behind, bunkers to the left or to the right. All sorts of hazards are often put around a par three to help create that that vision of a real tunnel. So when you look at a par three, as you're doing your imagery behind the ball, try to maintain step one, a real tunnel vision. A real tunnel vision. It's almost like the fire, fighter pilot drill I've talked about before, where a fighter pilot on the console of the jet, you see those lines converging before it, it uh, converges on the target itself, and then you hear beep, 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 letting the pilot know that the uh, target is in sight and locked on. So I call that the target lock-on drill. Literally, see those lines from the left side and the right side converge onto the part of the green that you intend for your ball to go to. That'll help narrow your vision more clearly, which is hugely important on a par three. It's hugely important in golf, period but maybe even more so important on a par three, on a shorter shot, but with all sorts of hazards in the way. So that's step one. Be incredibly clear with your vision. Target, target, target that clarity of the imagery. Step two, if you have trouble with par threes generally, that you're hitting left and right of the green or over the green or short of the green, aim for the center of the green. Don't let where the pin is fool you. Get your ball onto the green so that you can start putting. You want your second shot to be a putt, not a chip, and not, nothing from the center of the fairway when you mishit your drive out of tension or, or pressure. Aim for the center of the green. There's nothing wrong with that. If you're a golfer at a higher level, go ahead and aim for that more specific part of the green and really take a look at what that green is doing. What is it doing? Do you need to land the ball five feet to the right of the pin because it slopes to the left side and let that ball drift. Be very, very, very precise and clear on your intention for any shot on the par three. And the third thing I'm suggesting to do is just focus on rhythm and balance. Oftentimes on a par three, we get so excited and we feel so much more tension and pressure that everything starts to speed up. Or for some golfers, it'll actually slow down because that's what tension and pressure can do. It can go one way or the other for us. So depending on what happens with you, and you know what it is, if you tend to speed up, slow yourself down by focusing on rhythm and balance. So when you take your practice swings, all you want to be focusing on is rhythm. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Rhythm and balance, rhythm and balance, rhythm and balance. Step into a dress position and you may see a different experience on the par threes for yourself. So those are the three steps I invite you to consider on a par three. Be very clear about your intention, very, very, very clear. Hit to the center of the green if you have trouble on par threes and, and play it safe, nothing wrong with that. Get on the green and start putting right away. And third, make sure that you focus on rhythm, rhythm, rhythm and balance, rhythm and balance, rhythm and balance on your swing rhythm before you hit the ball. That's it for today. Look forward to talking to you real soon. Leave me a message here in cyberspace. And of course, as always, go ahead and visit www.mentalgolfcoaching.com. I've got some more free stuff over there for you. Talk to you soon. Take care.